Comedian John Stewart is on the warpath after 41 Senate Republicans blocked a bill to give access to health care for soldiers who've been exposed to toxic chemicals from military burn pits. So now he recently went on Fox News this morning and uh, kind of trolled the audience a little bit. Um, here is that. I want to dispel some of the misinformation that has been put out about this bill. No spending that is not related to veterans has been added to this bill. No last minute budget gimmicks have been added to this bill. Uh, this bill is purely based on toxic exposure, health care and benefits to veterans. Not one word has been added to that bill from the PACT Act bill that the Senate passed 84 to 14. Not one word has been added to it. There is no added pork. Hunter Biden didn't sneak in <laughs> and add in unrelated spending in the middle of the night. There is no pork in it. It is a kosher bill. I'd say halal, <laughs> but I know how that might play yeah, on this that, network. That, that, there is no on. extra spending on yeah. this bill that is not yeah. veteran related. They're lying. All right. So, uh, look, I love the subtle digs there. All right. The, a little about Hunter Biden, because we know how obsessed Fox News and the right wing is with Hunter Biden. Uh, and, of course, uh, the the halal. That's good stuff, right? Again, he is a comedian. But other than that, yeah, he actually went and, and uh, talked about a very serious issue. There's a lot of condemnation. And he's absolutely right. Look, this is a bill that should have passed. How is this controversial at all? Well, it, it, it's not. It's not. And the point is, Republicans in the Senate are throwing a shit fit because Democrats decided to get something passed through or to try to get something passed through reconciliation. That's it. The, I know there's all this talk about, oh, the, the Democrats, they played McConnell because they passed a corporate welfare chips bill that McConnell said he was going to block, even though it was, again, massive corporate welfare, which, by the way, the CHIPS bill, which gives billions of dollars to incredibly profitable semiconductor uh, companies, that that has been a pet project of Chuck Schumer for quite some time. And, and again, that's the one reason that Republicans wanted to block it is because Democrats were like, we want to pass it because we want to give our donors corporate welfare. So, but they managed to get that passed without going through reconciliation. And now... Well, they announced this Schumer mansion deal to get a little bit of climate spending, as well as, of course, corporate welfare. <laughs> uh, look, you, you can see that nothing's really going to get past the Senate or our government without it being some sort of handouts to giant corporations. So let's be honest about that. OK, uh, but anyway, look. They're blocking this for basically petty political reasons. OK, and why is it that it's always the Republicans that tend to make sure that the most vulnerable people always get punished when they throw little fits? And it's because it's the cruelty that's the point. The Republican Party of today is not conservative. They don't actually have conservative values. No, they're regressive. And also are made up of various petty, vindictive people that lack any and all empathy, whose only goal is to own the libs. That's it. That's it. Occasionally, though, there is something that comes along uh, and generally doesn't get a lot of fanfare. OK, they can pass it, though, and they can go home and campaign about how much they care about the veterans. Now, again, they don't actually really care about the veterans, but they do need their voters to believe it. Because it turns out supporting the troops, actually supporting the troops by paying for their health care, kind of a popular thing. So now here's the, uh, the cool thing about John Stewart. John Stewart is actually able to shame people. He has that platform. And everyone knows who he is. And on this, uh, on this alone, he's an excellent voice because uh, he actually does care. He cares about these people. He fights on in favor of these people. And so he does a great job highlighting these issues. And so when he goes off, People will listen. And he went off on Thursday. 
He called out Republicans. He called out Pat Toomey. He called out Washington Games. He called out even Fox News before he was booked on this interview. For example, when he um, yesterday, he went on uh, MSNBC's, uh, and, and look, he wasn't just on left-wing networks or centrist networks or corporate networks. He also went on right-wing networks. He went on Newsmax. He didn't care where he got this information out at. He just wanted to get the information out. And so he told uh, host Mehdi Hassan that he was lucky enough to get a hold of Newsmax in the morning and go there and said, quote, that might have been the first time those viewers had ever even heard about it. But Fox News, Fox News refused to put me on all day. We have been begging them to get on the air all day long so that we can finally bring along some possible accountability to these senators. Now, that actually worked. They shamed the network into giving him an opportunity to come on and talk about this. Now, it's not because the network or anybody there feels shame. But it turns out that fucking over veterans and their health care, uh, you know, it's kind of a bad look. And when you realize how bad PR that is, well, you're going to have to do something. Oh, uh, quick, get him on, get him on, get him on, get him on. But what's really important here when it comes to shame, again, because members of Congress don't feel shame, but they need to realize that if the voters know how bad they're trying to fuck over veterans, even though they claim to be in favor of veterans over these, you know, BS tricks, claiming that there's all sorts of weirdo pork and bullshit on there. Americans, they're not going to buy it. They just want to get this stuff done. And so let's hope Congress is shamed in that way to do something, to do their goddamn jobs like they're supposed to.